Okay, so you have finished the required files, and now are, you are ready to start on your uh, own 3D model. You're creating your own 3D model. And within the parameters that I have given you, uh, size-wise, dimension-wise, you can do a number of things. One of those things is to use the sketch picture tool, and a lot of people do use that because it is a pretty cool tool to use. So let me show you how to do that real quick. Um, we're going to select the plane and we're going to get into sketch mode. Okay, so just engage, uh, you know, uh, click on the exit sketch here. And you'll see that it kind of zooms in and positions itself into uh, the sketch mode. And that is a good thing. Um, so at that point, you go up to tools, sketch tools, and then scroll down to sketch picture right here. Um, and go find your image that you're wanting to sketch, okay? A great thing for you to use is very um, flat and graphic images or even maybe landmarks or, or something like the Eiffel Tower, for example. People do that a lot. Um, something that people will recognize pretty easily is what I would recommend, okay? Um, the Batman logo, logo is what I have chosen, so I'm going to select my file on my desktop here. I'm going to open it up and it's going to bring it in. However, if you zoom out, it's very, very large at this point. Um, uh, size, a dimension constraint that I give a lot of times is 50 millimeters by 50 millimeters by 50 millimeters, right? So let's just uh, pull this point here, this blue dot, all the way to the edge of the black here. And then let's pull this out all the way to the other end of the black at the widest areas, of course, because if it exceeds that, it won't get printed, uh, 50 millimeters. Then I'm going to let go of that and it ask me uh, what size I want to make it. Just to be safe, I'm going to say something like 49, 48 millimeters. Um, I put mine at 49. And then I go up here to the X and Y origin uh, parameters, uh, input fields here and I'm going to put 0 for X and 0 for Y and that's going to put me at the origin point again so it brings it back to the origin point I don't even have to go and look for it or pull it or drag it or any of that um, so here we are we have it ready to sketch okay so I'm going to okay that um, Another mode that you can use, and I may or may not have brought this up, but you can go to your add-ins here and uh, do auto-trace if you want to. That's a, another topic for another, um, another video. But for at this point, you can trace this image here, or you could trace multiple uh, things. You know, For example, I would make a sketch for the oval here, and then I would make a separate sketch for the bat. Um, so let me just show you drawing on the bat here how to go about doing that, okay? So I'm zooming in here by centering my uh, cursor where I want to zoom in, and then I'm just zooming in with my uh, right, uh, I mean my middle mouse button. All right, and then I'm going to grab some tools here. Can't use a straight tool because the lines aren't straight, so I'm going to go to the spline tool here. I'm going to select it. I'm going to click one point right here click and then I'm going to come over here to about right here maybe and then I'm going to click again and I'm going to hold it down and I'm going to twist this line to where it's close to where I want it. It's a little tricky as you can see I'm not even doing too great of a job at it but when you get it somewhat close to where you want it let go of that and then uh, you can escape out. In fact, I should have clicked again um, before I escaped, and it would have, uh, like a third dot, and it would have saved that second dot uh, curve. In any case, I can still work with this. So I'm going to zoom into this line here. I'm going to select it, and you see these little handles here is what they're called, uh, with the arrows on them. You can actually pull on those handles, or actually pull right here. And you can start altering that line. Um, so I'm going to put on that handle, this handle. And you can get it almost just like you want it. See, so it's following that line almost perfectly now. So 
we get what we like, we okay and we get out of there, then we go back to that tool and we go back to that line and see the uh, circle, the yellow circle there, uh, that means that it's on the dot and we're ready to click and continue on with our trace. Okay, so like I said, I'm traced it, click and then clicked it again. Uh, then I can click out, uh, escape, I mean, and then go back, click on that line and actually work on these with these handles to make it uh, just right and get my artwork the way that I want it so I can trace it. And when I finish this trace, I'm not going to go through the whole thing here on this video, but let me just connect these lines and this line here. And I'll try to keep it uh, consistent with that, those curves there. Escape. Click on my line here. Adjust my handles. And see, it's pretty close. It stays on that line and then comes down uh, here to this line. And we actually have a closed area here. Uh, again, making sure that I pick up at the point that I left off at and that I'm not crossing back over that line because if you cross over, uh, that will cause problems. But at this point, the way that, it, that I have done this, uh, you can actually go to the features tab and extrude that area right there see so if I had made a trace around the whole image then it, we could extrude this as a boss here um, at various widths uh, 10 is a good one I always recommend just staying at 10 because if it gets much uh, longer than that it just starts looking weird and let's say that we have this one set at 10 uh, or 20 maybe shell it out uh, to where it's got the edge here then place this uh, particular trace on the face right here uh, and then extrude that out this way you would have a really cool uh, drawing so that's just one tool here the sketch picture tool that you can use um, and play around with so if you have any questions let me know and I will be happy to answer your questions